Hi, my name is Joe. I'm a senior musculoskeletal physiotherapist here at Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust and we're here in the gym at the moment to try and give you some information on different conditions. So today I'm going to be talking about tendonitis. First of all, what is a tendon? Quite simply, a tendon is a part of connective tissue whose job is to connect muscle to bone. Tendons are found throughout the body, starting in our head and neck all the way down through to our feet and your largest tendon is the Achilles tendon, which is found just above your ankle. Tendinopathy is another word you might have heard of, which is used interchangeably with tendonitis. They both are umbrella terms to describe a range of different symptoms and presentations relating to tendons. Overall, tendinopathy or tendonitis is characterized by a combination of pain, swelling, and impaired performance. You may have heard of the term tennis elbow, which is just another form of tendinopathy or tendonitis that affects the outside part of the elbow. Some other common sites for tendon issues are at the shoulder. You can also get an issue inside the elbow related to your tendons. Sometimes as well, it affects our knees below the knee joint. And as mentioned, you can have an Achilles tendinopathy or tendonitis, which is where a part of the Achilles tendon that sits just above your ankle at the bottom of your leg gets irritated and starts to lead to pain. Commonly in tendonitis, pain starts to begin on the first few movements or steps of an activity. Whilst you warm up, the symptoms may start to improve and feel a little bit better. But then when you stop exercising or doing your activity, you may find that the swelling or pain starts to return. So what causes tendinopathies? Well, the exact cause is unknown, but there are a few things that might predispose or increase your risk of developing a tendon issue. Common risk factors include inappropriate equipment or inappropriate footwear, poor training technique or poor flexibility, poor general fitness or an imbalance in some of the muscles that sit and attach to the tendons, a hard and high friction playing surface. An example of an issue related to a hard or high friction playing surface is someone to go and play a lot of tennis or playing lots of basketball that they're not used to and the hard surface makes it challenging for the tendon to distribute the force and this may lead someone towards having an injury. Athletic training is one of the most common causes or risk factors for tendon issues. This is because tendinopathy or tendonitis is mainly an overuse issue which means that doing too much in one go can lead someone towards having some of the issues that we've mentioned. Typically, adequate periods of rest and recovery are needed to ensure that the tendon can recover and avoid leading towards having an issue of tendinopathy or tendonitis. However, when we try to do too much in one go and we don't allow our body to rest, this is where the issue of the tendon having continuous breakdown starts to occur. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks very much for watching.